often any kind of American story deals with race in some way. The thing that, that, that sort of amuses me is, is all this current talk about a, a post-racial America, where, which kind of makes no sense when you, <laughs> because as soon as you utter post-racial, then you're, you've, you, you're already talking about a racial America. Anthropologists gave up notions of racial difference in the beginning of the 20th century, mm. but the culture can't. The whole notion that you can write about any one, one people is, is kind of, well, it's not only obscene, it's, it's, it's absurd. Um, I had written a novel about Dionysus, and, and they just turned it down, and the editor wanted to know what that had to do with black people. I thought, wow, I, I, I relegated to writing about only things that deal with, with black people. Um, in my second novel, I don't make any racial designations for characters. But of course, in our culture, if you don't say, if I don't have my character come as Afro at, by page ten, he's <laughs> he's white. Uh, but that's not obviously not true. The reviewer uh, taking the pain, painstaking care to say how much he loves the violence of the novel and actually seeming to like the book adds a one sentence paragraph at the end of the of the review. This is by the way, the author is black. And that's kind of what racism is, by the way. There is, there is many different stories among African Americans and Mexican Americans as there are among uh, European Americans, unless it's some specific person dealing with a specific issue in a specific context. I don't know what the talk about identity really is about. And that could be just because I'm dumb. <laughs>